Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and use my new MK7 plugin. So this actually is not an NTR plugin anymore. This .3GX format is one that can be used with Luma directly. So that means you just need to load into Luma CFW normally. You do not need to load NTR anymore. So yeah, you can just download this normally from my GitHub page. And then once you've got it downloaded, then you can go onto your SD card and go into the Luma folder. I believe most people at this point have Luma installed, and if you don't, then honestly your 3DS is just behind the current times, because Luma has been standard with um, ARM9 loader hacks and B9S for quite a while now. So yeah, inside the Luma folder, create a folder called Plugins, and then inside of this, this is where you'll create another folder with the title ID of the game that you want to use the plugin with. So in this case, Mario Kart 7's title ID is on screen now. You can just replace the 8 with like a 7 or a 6 depending on your region, but 8 is USA. So yeah, inside of that, just copy and paste the plugin. You probably will not have this file in there, so you can just ignore that. But yeah, once you've got that, there is one more step that you need to do. You need to download a modified boot.farm file from Nankita's GitHub page. This one actually has plugin loading enabled because I believe it's not in the vanilla Luma CFW files. Yeah, he has modified this, so um, now when you go to the Luma menu, there's actually a option for plugin loading that you can enable, and then you will just be able to boot a plugin when you start your 3DS without having to load NTR or something else like that. So yeah, once you've got this downloaded, just copy it to the root of your SD card, and again, its name should be boot.firm. And once that's done, your 3DS SD card is all set up, and now I'll meet you back on my 3DS. So when you boot up your 3DS, it should automatically boot into Luma if you have B9S. So then at this point on the home screen, you can press the L button, the select button, and the down button on the D-pad simultaneously, and you should see the Rosalina menu. So then the third option down, it says plug and loader disabled. So you can press the A button over this to enable it. So what this will do is it will look into the Luma folder and the plugins folder inside of that. And whenever you load up a game with a title ID that matches one of those title IDs, it'll load the plugin from in there. So this process is done automatically and the plugin loader will stay enabled until you disable it. So you can just boot up your 3DS and go into the game immediately without having to re-enable this option again. So yeah, then when you load into Mario Kart 7, the screen should flash a color and then the plugin should be loaded. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if this video helped you. Comment if you need help or if you want to help anyone else out. And subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you next time.